Previous to the barbering thing, I did loads of other jobs, and the one thing that I really loved doing was getting my, getting my hair cut. Makes you feel great, doesn't it? So one day, I guess I went, I went to the barber shop, and I thought, I wonder if I can be on the other side of the chair. I basically set out on the journey of I wanted to work in the top barber shop in London. When I came to Ruffians, I fell in love with the space originally, and then the philosophy that Ruffians have, has as well. And it's been a year and a half having genuinely like the time of my life, so. I'm Andrew Cannon, uh, and I co-founded Ruffians Barbers. We have three shops, one in Edinburgh, one in Covent Garden, and this is our third and newest site in Marlborough, in central London. With Ruffians, the mission really was to try and be ourselves, have our own identity, be independent. It's what the customer wants to take out of it, and largely that is the relationship with their barber. The best way that that experience can be if it's, there's a friendship and a bond and a relationship built. So we love it when people come back time and time again, and that's just a familiarity, like they go and put their own jacket up on the, the coat hanger. The holy grail for me was to get the, the Rolls Royce of chairs is this Apollo 2 chair which I adore. We want people to have that comfort time and time again. It was an interest at the start. From that interest, it's developed now into what is a passion and now it's just such a pleasure to do barbering. It doesn't even feel like work. It just feels like doing something that I love doing and hanging out with a really, really great bunch of guys and, and the highlight of my day is actually work. Guys generally find it difficult to talk about what they want to do with their hair or with their images. The whole point is that we want people to leave exactly with what they wanted. I think we've sort of like broken those barriers down to make it much easier for a guy to feel relaxed and just open up about what he would like to do with his style. They're getting a spa treatment. Oh yeah, I mean that's yeah. the whole thing should be a, uh, an enjoyable process. That's the main thing. Just feel relaxed. Re feel relaxed in your company. Feel relaxed in the environment that they're sat in. Yeah, it's it's a good relationship between a, a barber really and, and the client. When you sit down on it, you're in something that just feels right. And I guess that's what we're trying to do. You walk through the door and you have that moment where you're thinking, actually, this is, this is what I've been looking for. I didn't know that I was having bad hairdressing experiences prior to this, but now I'm in here. This is how it should be done. What it means to be part of Ruffins for me, it's been being part of a journey and, and you do it with everybody and you do it together. So it's nice that we all push one another, but we do it in a, in a really positive way. I guess we'll find our feet as well, but it's going, I think it's going really well and being part of that and, and growing together is, for me, one thing that I do really love about Ruffians. It's all about experience and that journey going through and it just being their time. In London, you get people who walk in the door and they're really like, go, go, go. They're like, get my hair cut. And what we try and do is to calm that person down so that they sit down, have a beer, have a tonic tea cake, and then get their hair cut, have a really nice conversation. By the time they walk out, they've forgotten why they were stressed out. And they're like, oh, that's great. I've had this sort of 30, 40 minutes of relaxation, and I feel great, I look great. That makes us feel like we're doing our job well.